And so I did promise you that um, we'll have our young Montserratian author on the line all the way from out of the United Kingdom. Good Shamalan. Hello, good morning, Basil. Good morning, Montserrat. Yeah, you got to change that name. It's now Tom, Dick, and Harry for Festival <laughs> 50. Got to get it right. Got to get it right. My apologies, my friend. That's good all right. Good morning, Tom, Dick, and Harry, man. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing, guy? I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I, I, well, I, we have a lovely day in London, but not too bad. Okay, it's beautiful here as well. I think I, I saw your, I, I glimpsed your father. And uh, for the folks who don't know who your dad is, that's yes. Uh, Laddie. Yes. <laughs> and I saw your yes. brother here as well. Am I correct? Yes, yes. He's here as well. He's his first time back in about 10 years. Wow, so that's, that's a long time, eh? It's a long time. Well, uh, well I hope that he'd, um, he, he doesn't get lost, you know? <laughs> well, you know what? He's he been showing me some pictures via him drinking some coconut water, boy. He's telling me he don't want to really come back. Ah, so well, well, he's well. He's enjoying himself. Well, this, this is home, so, um, you know, it's up to him. He can stay on. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a, a book you can write about, you know. The next time you're going to write a book, write uh, coconut, waters, uh, coconut water and going home or something like well, that, you know. You. <laughs> well, I've got so much planned for my next few books that are coming out. Um, uh, the 50th is, uh, 50th is taking me by storm, and I was in the process of doing something for months, right? But that's just in the, in the pipeline, not to disclose just yet. Indeed. Now, now, now tell us, you're from Strathams or Windy Hill? Well, you know, I was born and raised in, in Windy Hill. I'm from Windy Hill, right on the top, you know, looking over down to Stratums. In the, you know, it's a beautiful, cool place. Okay. So, yeah, I'm from Windy Hill. Right. I, I, I do remember you, and I think um, uh, when you were a bit younger, I used to uh, put a few slaps uh, uh, <laughs> on you in, in church. <laughs> Easy now, man. <laughs> easy, easy, easy now, Tom. Dick and Harry. Easy now. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I do remember. Yeah, man. I do remember putting my hand on you. You know, in church sometime. <laughs> anyway, oh, time let, does go on. I tell you, I remember the day you is it a university center? I first saw you doing some business over there. Uh huh. It was one of your comedy shows I watched. Long time, man. Growing up, long time ago, eh? The university center. Long time ago. Now, the, the thing is that you have now uh, b- become well. Let's call you an author because you've got a book out. So tell us about give this God book. Praise for tell, that. Tell give God a, the praise yeah. for us. I gotta give God thanks for that. Tell us about yes, this book. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have got a book out. Yeah. So tell us about the book. What, what, what's well, the name of the book, uh, by the way? Sorry. What, what's the name of the book? The name of the book is the Perfect Love Triangle. Yes. And um, this book is is been inspired by I don't know how to even say the inspiration came by great um, acknowledgement of knowing my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and obviously I've been into relationships and counseling and motivating people so it came out of that venue. Okay, all right. And uh, what's the real basis of this book? What's uh, what's the real uh, meat of this book? Well, you see. This book is to help relationships. It's to it's to it's to help people develop having successful relationships and and things that men do and women do and understanding your partner and having a, a, a um a, a, a close relationship, developing, giving you tips really, like to to help you encourage your relationship. And that's one of the things I mean. I, I mean, a lot of people have relationships from day to day, and they don't really know how to maintain one you know and i think that's that's been the problem throughout the the years okay but um even though as you you write more books as uh, you continue to to do your research uh, there's still a lot of people who are breaking up every day a lot of uh, yes. unhappy couples throughout the world well, well, yes. why is this happening though you see one of the things the one of the key things is and the key elements of relationship there's a lot of people that are out there looking for different types of things and they're and they're they're not really looking for a relationship. They're looking for an excuse to have somebody in their life, but not a relationship. Um, one of the first relationships you have to respect is a relationship of God. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of people that respect God and understand that God is in control of your life. And from you connect with your first relationship, which is God, um, as the book will show you, you know, He's planted a seed in us, which is the first uh, chapter based on the fact that you, uh, you are in control of your relationship with God and God connects to us. He teaches us how to have a decent relationship. And then to have earthly relationship with a, a partner, it would then how somehow 
help you to become or have a, um, a very um, powerful, or should I say, a reflection of his relationship in your relationship from day to day. So as people break up, you know, it's because there are individuals out there that don't really understand themselves, don't really understand what um, what relationships are about and how they should go about having a relationship. And you see, if I ask you a question, Barry, okay, I'm sure you this is this has been your professional career of being a, a um, <laughs> a, um, since I was a little boy. I know I listen to you on the radio. How how many years you've been doing this? This is something that you've taken time out and invested in yourself to to be professional at it, right or wrong? Exactly. Right, and it's the same thing when it comes to a relationship. How much time have you ever actually take instead of just jumping into bed and finding a guy or fi- uh, finding a girl to be with? Sorry, and uh, or ha- they they don't take time out with themselves, understanding who they are, knowing why they should have a relationship, and how um what it takes to maintain a relationship. And from you start connecting with yourself, knowing what you can and can and what you should do. God would then connect you to showing you what you should have uh, in a relationship with someone. And I think that is, that is, that is what the book it goes into detail about knowing yourself and connecting with yourself and connecting with God. And then he would then purposely show you what you should look for in a man or look for your, in a woman. And this, 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 is the, this is the core of the book. Now, 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 we don't want to give away everything out of this book. You know, we want yeah, people to, to buy the book. We want people to sit down and really read it. But I'm looking at some, some chapters here which are quite interesting. For example, a man needs comfort. We always hear that women need comfort. But I'm looking at some here. A man needs comfort. Learn their mom. Um, mm-hmm. uh, sex is very important. Uh, men need their own time. But I want you to look at this one very quickly for me. And in a nutshell, there's one that says, when men love, they love hard. Are you saying that m- men love harder than, than women? <laughs> okay, okay. Let, 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 let's break this down. You know, um, I, I think there's a, uh, um, what's to call it? I think about men don't know how to show their love. Men don't know how to, the language of love is totally different. And one of the things I always say is that, one, you, know, when, you, know, you know, when they say men get sick, they get sick like children. And uh-huh. they very like babies. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. So it's the same thing with love for us as men. When we choose an individual to love, we then commit ourselves to it. And we are somehow struck in that way that they, we, we, um, we, can't, we can't even think about what next to do. But it's how we show you the life, how we show you that we love, that we love. That from you to figure out the, how your man expresses his love. Because, you know, a lot of the times, um, the lang- language is not a, a word. It, uh, this is one of the things that, you know, it langu- um, it's not just a word. It's about, uh, love, love is not just a word, sorry. It, it, it's it's, it's an it's a action word. And once men, you have to let that man um, show you in action, investing in you. And and that's one of the, that is one of the mishaps we have from many women because a lot of a lot of men just whisper you know a few soft words and 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 and, and, and rub you a little bit right way and then you fall into the trap of thinking that you're in love because I don't go about saying I love you know they, 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 in love is a whole um, cliche it's a, it's something that the world as I said has put on it and uh, see into Valentine it's a whole cliche. But when you say, what is love? Love is something that grows. It, it takes time to grow. And when, once it's been planted, the seed of love, that man would then develop his way to express his love. And that is when we love. We love hard because we just can't get out of thinking. Because we, you know, we're like machines. Men are like machines. We, we work in order. We're going to do this, this, and that. But you see women, they, 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 got, they say the women have the ability to multitask. Is that the word you're looking for? Yes. <laughs> so Good. They would then um, they were doing three, four, six, seven things at once. So they're, they're, that's that's their emotional side that speaks through that. But it's not really. It is not the the, the how we work as men. Once once we figure out our destination on where we want to go with you. You know, one of the things is that I'm going to say, I'm going to give you one of the secrets of a man right now, is that one that I didn't put is that once we, we've already, it's in the book, he says, we've got a name for you from the moment we see you. You know, men have already got a name for you in their minds. Oh, this, this, this girl is a, 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 um, 
I'm not going to use some of them, but you like uh, either wifey material or the girlfriend or the, the potential or a uh, uh, waste of time. We've already put a name on you. And then from that, we start working on seeing the name that we want you to become if we can change it. But once we get to that stage of loving you, we can't change it. We don't know how to go back. We just know how to go forward. That's why a lot of men deal with breakups more harsh than women. Wow. Okay. So listen, that has been a mouthful. Tell us where we can get the book. Where can people find this book? Well, you know, um, at the moment, it'll be available uh, on Amazon sometime this week. I'll be posting links and trying to get that out there for you guys. But um, it's currently available on Lulu.com. So it's uh, www.lulu.com, and you type in the perfect love triangle, and you can go and get the book right there. Indeed. All right, um, Gershom Allen, we want to thank you for touching base, guy. And uh, I, I, will you be home for, 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 for the 50th? You know what? I'm, I'm praying that God makes it work out that I can come. But um, you, you, you got to come and drink some of the coconut water that your brother is drinking. Oh, my days. Oh, he's enjoying. He's enjoying. The, oh, the one we got water and he's been there he's drinking all the spring water and all the coconut water. And, you know, I, the other day I cooked some goat water. I was reminiscing of home. And I just trying to feel that my, my mind is still there with you guys. Did you have meat in the goat water or just goat water? <laughs> yes, man. I, I, I went down to the market and I, I got fresh, uh, fresh goat meat. Yes. You see, you've got, you, you, you got to be careful, eh? The, the reason I'm saying this, I, 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 I just did a song, eh? And uh, part of the song says that sometimes people go uh, to, to a certain place and they say, Can we get some goat water, please? And when they don't get no meat, they start to cuss. <laughs> they never said they wanted goat meat, you know? So you got to be careful, yeah, got to be yeah, careful. Yeah. You know, actually, I went to um, uh, my cousin Clinton's funeral, and I got uh, really, um, like my heart goes out to the family, um, the Farrell's family, because they lost a young man by two fits. And um, it was a massive funeral over here, and a um, massive, massive funeral. Um, all the people from St. George, the capital of St. George's was there. I'm talking from Windows, Stratum, Dyers, Money News, Tyrone, DJ Tyrone was there. Uh, you know, talking people like Scrappy. There was all kind of people from all over was there, name numerous to mention. And I'm just going to the goat water. When they bring out the... <laughs> listen, <laughs> uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry, listen, man. <laughs> when they when they put the goat water, it was at the back. Everyone lining up waiting for the goat water. Then they had to bring it to the front. Before you look back, there was just bow. You know, when you look in there, it's just bow leave back. But let, but, let, but let me ask you a question because you're talking about lining up and all of that. And be honest with me. Was the goat a month's ration goat? <laughs> I don't know if you ship it here and bring it here, but I don't know what, what kind of goat it was, but it was definitely good. So you tasted good? Tasted must, good. Must have had some unsweat connections then, you know? Well, as long as, you know something? And my mom, because I, I posted a video, I make videos as well on YouTube, for those who don't know. And um, I made a video on my birthday and... um. My mom ma making goat water, so it's online at the moment and floating around. It's getting a few hits as well. It's amazing that the people are enjoying that video and giving me some good response to it, saying I water in their mouth. And one, we have this cold pot that my mom stumbled upon. Don't ask how we found it, okay? Don't ask. But um, one of the things uh, my mom told me in the sequence of making a, a, a really good goat water dish is that... <laughs> When you cook it, you have to skim it off. That's one of the secrets, yeah? But also, it takes time and love. It's like, you know, you're caressing it, and you, you, you have to really be gentle with it, you know, to get the love in the pot. So it's not just cooking it off because you see the, the name of the ingredients. It's, it's, it has to come with a lot of monstration love and, and, and caressing to get the finished product of a tasty gold water. I agree, I agree. Well, let me tell you something. You've learned something, right? Yes, oh yes. Oh so yes. there you go. Anyway, anybody that you want to give a, a hail out to? Well, let me just shout out my father, Mr. Allen, and, um, as he enjoys, as he enjoys Montserrat down there. And let me shout out my brother, Quinston. Quinston uh, working hard as usual. You know, Quinston Buffong. That's my brother. And then, you know, the family, um, Ian and all the rest of us are here in the UK, showing all our love for them down in Montserrat. And um, Glenn, Glenn, I said, Glenn, drinking all the cold water. Make sure you bring back some, some something for me. I don't know where you're bringing a sugar cane or bring something for me, you know. And um, I just want to shout out everybody. And um, all, 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 so many names. I, I can't even bring them to mind right now. But for those of you who know us uh, as a family, we're doing well and we're keeping up the faith over here. And um, uh, and the New Carmel Church, uh, as they plan to um, 
is it Ebenezer Church, I think, plan to have a crusade in the next couple of years. So good luck with that, and may God bless and be with them. And, uh, you know, Basil, keep doing your thing. We're loving, we, you wake us up in the morning, well, midday, we, uh, lunchtime, we listen to you. And, um, yes, it's not from t- till 10 o'clock, till 11, it's 11 o'clock. So shout out to everybody, and um, God bless all the monstrations as they look forward to Festival 50th. And, you know, be safe, be good. And just remember that God is take us so far, and nothing, nothing is in, or nothing is possible without God. So we have to keep God in the mix in whatever we do, you know. And um, that's just it for today. Indeed, indeed. Now, quickly before you go, Gershom, tell us exactly again where we can find these books. Yes, um, it'll be available on Amazon um, for currently, and um, I'm working on a few book launches. So hopefully, I might touch over there. So I'll just pray that God works out everything rightly for me. But um, also, it's a, currently right now, today, if you want it, you can, you can find it on www.lulu.com. And that will be the perfect love triangle where hopefully this can change your life, change your mind, and make you become a better person in your relationship. Indeed. Gershom Allen, thank you so much, guy. Uh, have a great day. And season's greetings to you, okay? Yes. Oh, yes. Listen, man, I love the Christmas cards that's coming off from you guys. You know the funny thing with England? I'm not running, um, holding up any more time on the show, but uh, we don't get much Christmas cards, you know. I tune into you guys and we get the Christmas cards. I'm just appreciative of that. I will, I, I, will, I will play you one. I will play you one coming up soon, all right? Okay. All right. Bless the day and uh, be blessed. One love, man. Yeah. Cheers. Act normal. Good. Everybody, that's Gershom Allen. And uh, he's got a, book, a new book out. And, you know, we just.